So this video is from 1st June and today is 19th August. Thankfully it's Raksha Bandhan. I'm working from home and I've got this time to make this particular video. Now in this session, in this snatch session, you'll see me wearing a cap. Uh, when I'm doing my squats and everything, I'm wearing my cap as usual. When I'm doing my snatches, just so that the bar does not end up hitting against the cap, I'm wearing my cap backwards. Now this is a very very important point over here and I'm not, not even making a joke. The reason why I was wearing a cap on that day, in fact not just that day, right? And a lot of the follow-up sessions and some sessions before this because I was feeling very very cold on the gym floor. And when I inquired amongst the other members whether we can switch the AC off, they all said well it's not that cold and everything. So it was only me who was feeling that cold. Uh, what did I do? Nothing. I just continued working out as usual. I continued working as usual. I just went ahead and ignored all of the signs of cold, fever, cough that I was experiencing. Uh, and then fast forward a few weeks, my symptoms had gone up and one fine day when speaking to this acquaintance I know, he mentioned he had typhoid. Right? And he mentioned some of his symptoms. So that really scared me. I rushed to a doc. When I rushed to the doctor and I told him about the symptoms I have been experiencing for quite a few weeks, uh, he ended up saying, you know what, I don't think you have typhoid like the way your friend does. Uh, although typhoid dengue is going on in this area, the way you're talking, the fact that you were able to walk up to the clinic and you also mentioned you've been working out, you would take a train to Bandrakhar every day. Uh, typically, if at all you had typhoid or anything like that, you should not be able to do all of those things. But any which way, just for your peace of mind, I'll ask you to go for some tests, right? Blood tests. So next morning I did that and when the reports came in, unfortunately I was down with typhoid and not just typhoid, I was also down with dengue. Uh, my body was just recovering from dengue, but typhoid was still ongoing. Uh, moral of the story, I kept ignoring all of the symptoms I was experiencing, right? And this is something which I see a lot of people in our industry do. Uh, we just push through it, the no pain, no gain, stupid philosophy and everything. Oh, you know what, if I'm exhausted, it's because of my nutrition, malnutrition. I'm not eating something or maybe I'm eating too much of something, right? Oh, if I'm feeling this, whatever it might be, exhaustion and everything, we always try and connect the dots using our own limited knowledge of nutrition and ergogenics we might take pre-workouts that's what i was doing load up on coffee or just take more protein or cut down on simple sugars believing that to be the reason and it's always not like that uh, very important in that unfortunately it's been two months and still my body is not recovered from whatever typhoid issues i had uh, that typhoid issue led to something else my body started experiencing lots of uh, rashes and everything. Uh, I had made a similar kind of a post, uh, it, although it wasn't audio video, just some posts on Instagram talking about how a lot of personal trainers, people in our industry, typically try and self-diagnose their conditions. And that post was a lot more serious in that I knew a few, few people who had unfortunately killed themselves and again, I've seen this in our industry, a lot of people try and diagnose their mental health problems by their own, using their own limited knowledge of nutrition and supplementation, including ergogenics over there, right? And that's a big mistake. I'm learning from this and hope whatever I'm saying helps some of you out. If at all you're experiencing fatigue, right? Any other physical symptoms or for that matter, mentally you're not feeling well, please see a professional.